Well, here it is, waiting for my bush plane to come pick me up. Quite the adventure I've had up here in the Yukon. Um, over a week ago it started with my guide Scott and I backpacking into the bush. We spent uh, about four days looking. We found eight rams, um, nothing I was really after. It was a bushwhack, it was blowdowns, backpack, pretty nasty and always wet, wet. So then we um, flew 110 miles north into the mountain range. We got our pilot, we're ready to mount up. Fly into Fannin. Here we go. Nice little warm cabin. A helicopter, drop it in in parts and put it up here. A lot better than a 10 for tonight. Storage bins, bear proof. Just a tarp on the top. Keep a little Coleman stove, extra fuel here. So we're gonna get all of our clothes and gear. More of our mountain house freeze-dried food. A little cot. Foamy, we're all set. Living large. Backpack's almost loaded. Got the STW, rain gear, water and binoc, so we're ready to leave. Feels like winter up here in the Yukon. We had a pretty successful day. Saw about 20 using lambs on one side of the uh, drainage. Um, Scott was on the other side. He saw using lambs and 
four or five sheep. And coming back out right before dusk here, we found uh, three that turned into six, possibly uh, three legal rams in there. Called a herd here tonight, so we're gonna head back, make a plan for the morning, put our backpacks on, and load up some food, grub, and tent, sleeping bag, and we'll hoof it. See the fog um, every morning, lots of rain every day, so now we have fogs in the morning. You can't see the sheep, they're actually above the uh, cloud line, so you have to wait till it burns or lifts off and then spot the sheep before you can proceed and make a stock. Just can't go up there and fumble into them and spook them out, so. Another couple hours we'll be able to see and uh, we have our backpacks ready. I've been laying here in this little perch about three hours. It's uh, been raining and downpouring, cold, shivering. And uh, about 500 feet above me, it's been snowing up on top. Just tried to get closer to our six seven now there's eight rams we believe um, too far away they're feeding up the hill it's getting a little dark on us right now we gotta back off we can never get around this hill tonight so go back get on the horses go back to camp get dried out and uh, tomorrow's another day the weather might be breaking it's been nothing but rain sleet hail had it all up here cold wind so we're gonna get out of sight and uh be back up on top tomorrow. This is sheep country. Just made a stock up the hill here to see what's on the back of this big drainage. We just had to sit out a big snowstorm squall. Now we get ready to peek on the other side. It's cold today. Yukon stone sheep. What a challenge. Today's about the eighth day of the hunt. We've had once again fog, that snow. We had to move two or three areas, some good hikes, long hikes, backpacking. And uh, saw this ram a day ago, just couldn't get on him yesterday. Came back in for two or three days of supplies and uh, we expect to chase him. Ended up with him on the first evening here, so. Nice little stock was made and about a 275 yard shot and dropped him. So he looks to be about 14 by 38, about a nine year old ram, super heavy for a stone sheep. Well, 
Here we are packing out a full camp and a full cape, life-size mount, meat and everything. So, of course the rain and the sleet's not helping, but I figure we're gonna hoof it off and spend a few hours going back to camp rather than setting our tents up and freezing again outside. So, off we go.